one of the expectations of the teacher is that because the teacher is responsible for the whole growth and development of the personality of the students, the teacher must encourage the student to learn beyond the classroom. Routinely encourage students to work outside and beyond the formal curriculum and syllabus to stimulate authentic interest in and commitment to your subject area. For example, in the syllabus, maybe there are things which are not mentioned in the syllabus to be done. For example, if we are talking about a session in geography, maybe it is not written there that the students really need to know how does a sa sand particle feel like. It is not important probably that the touch of the sand particle is to be known by the student. Maybe it is not written in the syllabus. The teacher should encourage the students to have a feel of the sand particle. How does it feel like? How does it look like in originality? Because the sand particle might be there in the geography book in a picture. Every mind thinks in a different manner. The students may take it to be different from one another. But once when they will be in the field or in the ground and they will touch the sand particles, they will have a feeling of touch with the sand particles and they will never forget it. And then they will be able to compare the other things with the sand particles because they have real experience of touching the sand particle. Same is with so many other subjects where the life experience or the real experience matters a lot for the student. For example, if we are teaching in the curriculum that people should make a cue to do things, that could be just one rule which is written in a book, that people should be making cues in order to get things done. Once the teacher makes the student experience in a market where people are standing in a queue and how beneficial it is to stand in a queue because everybody gets a chance to do the thing, to do the shopping and is rightly attended by the people who are in the shop, then the student can understand how important it is to watch somebody who is standing in a queue and how useful it is to stand in a queue. So that will be the real experience the student is going to get by learning beyond the classroom. Similarly, a lot of discipline and civic information which is written in the books is best experienced and learned by the students when they go out in the field and they experience the problems and they come to know what are the benefits of being a good citizen and then they realize the importance of being a civic student and knowing what is the value of that subject in education? To stimulate authentic interest in and commitment to your subject area. So by doing this, that means the teacher is committed to the subject. She is trying her best and using authentic ways because she is going to show the students authentic examples, real life examples. And that means she is committed to make her students learn about that subject. So learning beyond the classroom helps the students to learn quickly and in a real way, in an authentic way. And if the teacher is doing that, which is of course expected of a teacher, to make the students understand the subject by getting closer to the real life experiences, then that means this teacher is doing her job with commitment because she is making the learning possible in a very authentic manner by putting in more efforts by being beyond the classroom learning and making her students learn that in her subject area.